Hello everyone, so in this video I want to showcase how I recently created for my new project a uh, an MD list uh, that is uh, f being fed by a database and where you can filter it by using like a search button and the text that you want. So first step we're going to show what we want to do with MD lists. Um, sorry I don't know what's glitching on the screen right now but uh, well uh, let's go on and start with the Kiwi lists. So from um, kvmd.app we're going to import MD app obviously then we're going to import from ux.list uh, import and not list but one line list item this one it's not the best version I think one line avatar icon item is better but uh, well we'll see that later on uh, then for our basic kv file what we're going to do is create our class uh, main app it's going to be an MD app um, that's going to go into a build of self I guess that you should know that if you, you're in on those kind of tutorial uh, and just to make it pretty let's define the color scheme of what, our project real quick so we're going to call theme that's underscore CLS which is like the theme of your app and we're going to call it um, theme style is going to be dark because I like dark mode I think light mode is killing you it's not right then self dot theme CLS and this time dot primary palette uh, is equal to and let's say orange because in the documentation I saw some nice orange and I think it looked pretty cool um, you can play with this have an accent color and use the, the hue palette from the orange to have various variations of that and make it pretty we're not gonna stay on this for now so let's just go straight on our project um, and then we're gonna add a simple uh, if name equal equal main uh, then uh, main app run okay here we've got the gist of it so if I start it right now we've got a black screen nothing's happening uh, the sheer size of it seems pretty okay uh, now let's create a new uh, kv file which is going to be main.kv and this main.kv we're going to uh, be using for most things so let's go with an MD box layout and this box layout is going to be orientation what's going on with my typing today orientation uh, vertical um, and we're going to add that the background color is going to be uh, something gray so let's say 111 but then we're going to do point 0.1 um, to have a nice background color to our app let's add a MD top app bar I think it's like this yeah to make it nice and this MD top app bar is going to have a background color of app.theme CLS and we can call our primary color here so see now you can just use this to make all your colors like match and be practical with each other elevation is going to be one I don't really see it but um, I just want you to know it exists to make it like pop out a little bit more um, in front of the rest and then the title is going to be my project list so I don't know I went with, um, with a, a, a theme of projects for your for your app and now that we have this top up bar, how does it look like? Oop. I screwed up my L here. And the top up bar is uh, 1R. Because apparently I don't know how to type. Uh, okay so no surprise the top up bar is on the bottom of the screen because you're adding elements and they're gonna pile up kinda uh, so don't be uh, don't feel like it's weird you need to organize that beforehand and know that you're gonna like add information from top to bottom and the size of everything is gonna affect what's underneath it uh, because that's the way like Kiwi is reading 
the information. So now, how do I add my um, MD list kind of thing? Let's go with another uh, last thing, sorry. I wanted a bottom up bar too, so we're going to say MD bottom up bar, uh, and this time it's going to be MD background color, and same thing here. Uh, and we're going to create a MD top up bar, which is going to be elevation 1. Uh, title is going to be click on a project to see details more details and the icon is going to be uh, you know what YouTube for example and the type and this is where you're going to put it on the bottom of the page and the mode for the button so the YouTube icon is gonna go to the end of our bar I like it this way uh, now what does it look like okay now you see I have my top up bar my bottom up bar and I wanna feed my MD list in between those two so let's go and do this here so I'm gonna create an other box layout um, just because it's better to like had some padding and this padding is gonna make it look like a little neater like it's included in between those two uh, uh, app bars and not just like taking the whole screen I like it like when there's a bit more padding so let's even put 30 in here and then in there we're gonna create an MD scroll view and this scroll view is the item that makes your list being indefinite. You can have as many items as you want inside the scroll view. It's going to take the space you locate for it. And if items are cannot fit inside of it, you can scroll through them. So this is your the basic thing you need to create a list. Because if you ha add a list by itself, there's nothing to scroll it in. So it's kind, it's less interesting. Or you're going to be limited in what you can do very quickly. Now let's add um, a... Uh, oh, oops, forgot to add the orientation here. I like, I like it to be clear, so I, I'm not... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not mess up later on. I know you don't have to add the vertical, but uh, well, let's do it. I don't even remember. Maybe the default is horizontal. That, that now that we're talking about it, well, I don't really mind right now. So we're going to create our ID list. Okay, our list is here now. So this is the item you're gonna f uh, you're gonna feed with information later on, not the scroll view. The scroll view is gonna have this list inside of it. How do you interact with this list from your Python file? You're gonna add an ID, and this ID is gonna identify this object for your app. So when you're gonna initialize the app, um, KV is gonna read through the KV file here, and every ID value is gonna be stored with its name. And here we're gonna use the classic container name that you use in every example in the documentation and this container value is going to refer to this specific list inside this scroll view inside this box layout inside this um, page okay um, and that, that's actually all we need to do you could add lists like directly from this uh, code actually but that's not what I want to do today we're gonna to do it from the Python file and from here it's pretty easy we are gonna add a new function and this function is gonna be an on start again if you're in a screen or something it can be on on, uh, on pre enter or on enter depending on what you want to do um, but here it's gonna be on start because we don't have screens or anything and on start, we're just going to uh, loop, so for underscore in range, uh, let's say 50, so you see it right. Um, we're going to say self, so self being here, my app. My app has various informations, so at root, so the root is, is um, so sorry, here your uh, on start for your, like, 
the screen and the root is the app. It's where you've got all the information about everything happening right now. So for example, the root has the the theme uh, color palette and here you can access the IDs and in the IDs you, I should have container okay uh, and now I can do stuff to this container so I'm gonna say the most basic feature of Kiwi add widget and this is where we're gonna add our friend the um, the one list line list item. So we already imported it. So let's go one line list item, and now I'm going to add informations in here. So how does that work? Well, we can just say uh, that the text is going to be equal to something. This something for now is just going to be very simple. So we're going to call um, f and say that um, this is element number my value and with this loop we should have it you should see, you will see that it adds from top to bottom so my list is going to be fed um, going down so let's go here and we have it we have this list of 50 items I can scroll down with the mouse scroll or I can click and slide um, note that this is not clickable, the, the sidebar, but those are clickable, okay? We can give actions to it and we'll see that later on. Uh, but for now, this is working. What happens if I remove this on start statement and I just leave my list empty? Well, you can see that like the object is existing and so my top app bar and my bottom app bar are placed correctly, but nothing's in the list. So that's it for creating your list and I'll see you soon for the database part of this project.